It's recording. It's recording. You sure it's recording? Yeah. You sure? Better hurry this up. I want to get back to Open TTD. Sweet. All right. My name is Julian Lopez, and this is for anybody who wants to know how to do hardware donation stuff, namely install ArcOS using a USB drive. Now, in order for this to work, you need to have a USB pen or drive or whatever you call these things that already has Arc USB on it. Well, but if for the Ro students at Roosevelt, we'll already have to buy these to you. But to anybody else, uh, we'll probably make a tutorial on that at some other time. First step is that you plug the USB drive into, you don't need to go in that much, into a computer, make sure it's secure. And then here's the next step. And this is the probably the most complicated uh, step of the entire thing. You need to turn the computer on, and then, you need to access something called the BIOS. Most computers, it will be labeled as the setup, and from manufacturer to manufacturer, it varies. But most of the time, it's usually the um, function one, two, three, maybe function four, and maybe function 10 through 11. It'll usually be the function keys. And you'll have to look that up on your own. And once in there, go over to, usually it'll be labeled as boot, Find boot, and specifically for USB HDD, uh, this flash drive shows up, as you can see, is a Sam Samsung brand. It shows up here, Samsung flash drive. And I had pre-configured it to um, be the number one boot option. But realistically, what you should do is here, change values. Make sure that this is number one in the boot priority order. What this means is that when the computer is turning on, it will pick the USB flash drive to um, open first instead of the hard drive that's on the computer. Meaning the operating system that's on this USB drive will uh, be run first instead of the operating system on the laptop. Exit. Exit saving changes or F10 in most cases. Yes. And if everything goes well, the system should reboot and you shall be greeted by a string of text that looks like this. Don't freak out if you see this. This is the uh, Linux boot sequence. For most operating systems, it isn't shown, but for this, just for compatibility issues, we decided to show it. All right, hooray. Finished the first st two steps. Next step, you have to log in. Password is password. Can you like angle this? We have a lot of reflection. Well, I'm going to record the screen. Oh, okay. Every side is a good side, I think. Okay? Anyway. So, first thing you do, as soon as you um, access this, click on the ArcOS installer folder. From there, click on ArcOS installer, the file. And you select execute. What this file is, is um, a bash file that I wrote, which I spent too little time on, but it will automatically do the installation process for you. And I forgot to put ArcOS on this file. Alright, so I moved back over to the library here and I copied over um, the latest version of ArcOS, version of Bosco tech and right now um, what you want to do all right so ignore that uh, what you want to do is says do you want to download a new copy of ArcOS as of right now we don't really have that set up it should work in theory but type no which of the two files do you want me to flash for this you want to select file number one ArcOS 32-bit blah 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 the second file there, that one is for the USB drive, which you don't need to do right now. Select the file one. You pick, blah, blah, blah. Are you upgrading the hard drive that already has ArcOS on it? For this step, assume that, this is assuming um, that you have a blank computer, a computer that already has Windows on it and all that, which you want to delete, since personal data, and you don't want to give away people's personal data. So you select no. No, All right, like, deleting everything. Have you deleted any partitions on the drive that you parted yet? Type yes or no. You haven't done anything with it, so you should. Type a no. 
Password is password. And this part shouldn't take too long. $3,000. All right, so going back to um, this after it loads, what you see here is dev SDA1. What you need to know is that on Linux, uh, different hard drives are labeled starting with SDAA, SDAB, and so on. If you click here, you'll see that there's dev SDB, and right now I'm using a 32 gigabyte USB drive, so you can tell that SDB is the USB drive. And generally, SDA is the hard drive on this computer. That's the hard drive that you want to erase and install Linux. Look at that. And all of this, this represents all the data on the hard drive. So what you want to do is just right click them all, delete, 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 and then you hit the check mark to apply. Because what you've done up until this point is kind of like a cue of what you want to do. Want to, not have done. With this, you'll apply it. Apply. And, it, oh, that was real fast. Alright, so after you're done with that, everything should say unallocated, which means that there's no data on there for the most part. Just close that out. Did you delete all partitions? You should say yes since, you know, you deleted stuff. And remember what I said earlier about the Linux uh, disks? You can tell, you can generally guess here which um, disk, uh, which SDA relates to what. SR0 usually relates to a disk drive, which this computer does have. So, you should be able to tell that the one you want is SDA. Hit enter. Type in your password, which is password. Enter. And you have started the drive flashing process. Really, that was very helpful. Okay, so now you get this pop-up and you're like, hmm. What is my password? Yeah, I guess what could the password possibly be that I have not repeated at least three times before? So after you put that in there, you're greeted by this. And now it's time to explain what this is showing. So this is showing the um, disk space, I mean the um, hard drive on this computer, not the uh, USB drive. As you can see it's dev SDA and it has an incredibly large uh, Hard drive space. What's going on is this. What you've done is copy over the ArcOS file onto this computer. And for you to uh, just switch over to that right now, it'd be 100% fine. The issue is that it doesn't have access to all of the uh, rest of the space on the computer. In order to do that, you need to extend, or as it says here, resize the move, the partition. Think of a partition as a fence. Actually, no, fair idea. The um, hard drive is an island, and a partition is a fence. What you need to do here is extend the fence so you can use everything within that fence area. Hit resize move, check mark it, apply, and eventually, this might take some time, it will uh, fill up the entire hard drive uh, space, and that way the uh, people who will be using this computer will help have full access to all of the data in it. Correct. Okay. Um, the user will have full access to all the hard drive space, not data, space, on this hard drive. So then you just exit out of this, and it closes automatically, and that's it. For the final step, you turn this off, you hit the power button, get the arc USB, shut down, Give it a sec, and it turns off. Final step, remove the USB drive, and that is it. All, you should, all that should uh, happen now, when I turn this on, is that it should boot to ArcOS. Should.
So you've been kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Peter, go back to no, playing train games. No, no, no. Oh, Still oh, recording? Here we go. Here we go. This is Peter, just play yeah. Open TTD. You're not allowed to play any other games. <laughs> it's oh. true. And right. voila. You get the ArcOS booting screen for version Bosco Tech. And that's it. This laptop is, for the most part, ready to deliver. There will be other step, another step that we will make a video about eventually. But for the most part, this is all you need to know. And, in case you need to know, the default password is password. Password. No. Voila, you have a computer that's ready for people, kids, whatever, to use.